Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner and our hard mode series. We are in the process of trying to set up our, our login contracts, but also mopping up the jobs that I forgot were still here in Black River. So let's uh, let's crack on with it. We are in the P16 and we're going to try, <laughs> with all our might, with the P16 to pull <laughs> the Chevy as best we can. Uh, we only really need to pull it, I think, up there. I don't think the Chevy on its own will um, will do. Will 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 we'll manage the mud and stuff. I'll get my words out eventually. Yeah, I don't think it's going to manage that. So let's see what we can do. I've I've gotten over the shock and surprise of having forgotten everything here. So hopefully. Uh, Hopefully I'll be able to just uh, chug on. I've had a night to sleep on it. <laughs> and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll crack on. When we do our logs, we're going to do the long logs first. That's why I've got this set up. Um, we need to take our White Western style out and finish off the job that we've missed. Which I felt sure I'd done. I have been. I've looked through the titles of the episodes and apparently we hadn't already done it which makes sense if it's here but I felt sure I had I must have come across that at a similar time as I was trying to do it on one of my other series that's it just to wait for it to find its gear. I've said before, I don't find that the actual P16 works better in low gear for me. I'm sure others will argue just to get in low and go. I, I tend to find that it doesn't sort of get the torque that you need that we get in the in the uh, automatic gear. So if we can just roll back a little bit and maybe change our approach. So I think it's that big rock behind us is causing the issue. Churn this up too much and I definitely won't get the Kodiak up here, will I? There we go. Throw the wind chair once we've got a little bit of, bit of momentum. Bring it up here. We're pulling a lot, we're pulling a lot. And this is going to be consuming fuel, and I've had to get the, uh, the Kodiak, obviously, with its engine on as well. Now, from here, I think it should be alright. So we'll just bring it up to the, the gas station. gas station that I've got a feeling we're going to end up using. Yeah, a little bit disappointed with myself in um, in my use of fuel so far through the playthrough. You may have uh, <laughs> already guessed this. I am somewhat disappointed with myself. Right, so if I... Uh, we'll change the truck. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull them both. I don't think it's just using up too much fuel. Uh, we shall uh, refuel. Oh, went the wrong way, didn't I? I always do that. Always do that. I've only been playing the game for like four and a half years. <laughs> it's down to a thousand liters. That's not a lot, is it? That's not going to get us far. Alright. Let's just get the P16 through. I'm sure some would say just pull them both together, but I am 
not confident at the minute. I am, <laughs> I am the complete opposite of confident with uh, my vehicles and things rolling and say fuel usage. So we'll get this there, we'll get the Kodiak over. I know it's probably means it's going to be another slow progress episode, but it's just got to be safe. We'll bring the Kodiak over, we will fill up the White Western because that'll need fuel, and that trailer will be nearly empty. I just, yeah, not done well here, not done well at all. When I came back and got the CK, I should have had, oh, the CK, when I came back and got the Kodiak, I should have come back and checked the jobs that we had on the map before I brought it out and took the fuel and did other things. We could have just kept it here and done whatever with the machines we had, I guess. I don't know. Definitely was a better way of doing this. I'm going to try, I'm going to do my best to be more efficient when we get to Alaska. It's too late now. It's too late to save Michigan. And oh, as always, as always, uh, thank you very much for coming back and joining us. It's nice to be able to uh, get these recordings um, quite frequent, so hopefully I'll get these out to you as soon as possible. Just want to get this done. Trouble free. Once we've uh, took the White Western Star and, and done its jobs, we'll be setting that up with the logging crane rather than setting up another truck because I think if we used another truck I'd probably then need to change all the tyres and everything and I've took, took all my other trucks back through now to the dam but what we need to do I can't remember if we brought it through already I think we did the um, the Land Rover Get the Land Rover on our scouting because we need to do the entertaining the workers job and we need to do the um, meteorological data. Two of my least favourite jobs. I always get lost when doing meteorological data and usually I, I, I lose my cargo or roll the truck whilst doing this <laughs> missing cargo. Land Rover at least has the extra fuel in it, so we should be able to get around and do those two jobs. I'll probably be a little bit lazy and buy some fuel and fill up its um, camels and, and whatnot. I'll succumb to the fact that I'm paying for fuel now, so we do what we do. So we'll try and loop round. So they're sort of parked relatively to where I want it because I do want to try and manual these to start with. If, if it gets a bit tedious, we might just manual the long and auto the mediums and just pay for it. I still don't think as we go along um, we're going to be that short cash. I'm just not, just not starting out great, am I, at all? So let's go back to the uh, Kodiak. I don't know what its fuel situation is like. Could do with um, one of. Actually, we'll, we'll get there. I'll, I'll I'll arrive and then I'll fill up my own fuel tank just to make sure I've got enough to get out at the end. <laughs> And we're taking the repair parts because I will no doubt have issues with that. Oh, I meant to, see, I've forgotten again. I meant to take this into the garage to see if we picked up any upgrades for it. Started the episode so confident, didn't I? Didn't have time to do that, did I? I was uh, right on the cusp last time out.
As we pull up, we'll check whether the P16 need any repairs. Hopefully it doesn't. But if it does, we've got we've got some bits. And as always, the downside to doing this is that we are churning up the same route every time. Risky business. I have a feeling that I'm probably going to end up selling all uh, highway trucks, if I haven't already, sell, sell the highway trucks that we uh, collect up along the way. I believe we've got one Transstar that could probably get sold. We'll keep, like I said before, we'll keep the GMC because I know that can be upgraded into something sort of worthwhile if we need it somewhere desperately. I mean, some would probably say in its in its final form, in its final form, it's probably better than the um, Kodiak. But I wanted to go with the Kodiak as my fuel and repair truck uh, because, from what I gather, many people don't. I think that's quite often the GMC's job, or even the uh, the Transstar, or possibly since I think it's pretty good, the the Fleet Star probably make it good later on for that. So make sure you can get it out and about and do some stuff. I think for money we may we may sell some stuff and uh, scouts that I know we're never going to use you know if we find scout 800s or you know keep picking up multiple um, Chevy CKs and stuff like that we'll we'll eventually uh, be selling them back to where you came from old friend you were picked up just around the corner Right, so we are going to refuel ourselves. And that went wrong. <laughs> Again. How? How do I get that so wrong? All the time. There we are. So we're down to 900 leads. Right, so what are we repairing? ourselves that's okay and we'd already repaired the white western so we're all good here we do not have the we'll go get the Land Rover then that's what we'll do if we have a little hooches the Land Rover should be in Smithfield by the gate of the GMC where's the f the fleet star is there the Western star and the GMC is there. And we've got a service trailer there, haven't we? And that's got some parts in it. I know it has, but never mind. Land Rover. To save us a few seconds in video, I'll skip out the double map jump and we'll uh, just just land here. We were parked at the gate. So it's not like there's anything, it's just load screen to load screen. But off we go. Manoeuvres to make. Still looks beautiful, absolutely love it.
gorgeous game. So we are going to take the the wet route since that's where we want to be. And I was going to go with entertaining the workers first, but I think since we've still got some daylight I might try and tick off the um, the other one, one that I've forgotten. Meteorological data, that's the one. I'm not sure how much daylight we're going to have, but it'll be, it'll be easier in the daylight because we have to go in cab. When we have to weave through the trees. the raised muddy areas a little bit easier got a little bit of damage on the front here haven't we let's uh, <laughs> if we can afford to when we move mats we'll do some full repairs on stuff so maybe one truck because <laughs> it costs a lot especially when you just want to do like a little bit of body work but you still have to pay like the full price A bit, a bit premature there, but we're good. We're good. Or maybe we're not. Come on. There we are. Do have a little bit of a trip to to reach our point. The current map markers are obviously nothing to do with us. Take the little skidooch up here to the left, which again is risky because it's going to churn up where we want to go later on. Is in there. Now I think what I need to do is before we get going, just go into the map and mark it up. So if we go tasks, missing machinery. Oh, this one doesn't. Not this machinery. Um, meteorological data. There we go. So, we have three points to get. So, the best way to do it will be... It's three, isn't it? Yeah. 
So if we come down, I think we go up, up, and that way. So I'm going to have to mark my whole route. So like I said, I've got to be in cabs, so. So I want to just after the junction. So that, so that I can see it as I come past. Do I want to go that way? Oh, I don't think I do. Um, I think maybe this will be the route we take. So we finish off. there and then we'll come back down yeah back and then it's a long hit How do you get in there? Do we just through the woods, I guess? All right. So our route is marked out. And less. How long do we have? 10, 10 minutes? 13 minutes? Anything over 13 minutes. Just want to get it done, but if we can do it in ten and a half minutes, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Probably should have had the engine running. See, this is where I annoy myself. Because did I don't want to go this way? Probably. Didn't actually mark up <laughs> coming out of here, did I? There we go, we'll be all right. Maybe not that way, maybe not that way. Let's go around the post. Let's get a light on for when it does get dark. Right, now we start. <laughs> now we start. Enjoy the uh, the first person chaos. That's all I can say. This one is a bit bouncy. Our Land Rover. Those massive tyres and the suspension. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna thack it about anyone. I'm gonna try. Be sensible. Ooh. That was the one that I always miss. Even when I mark it up. That's because I've put my target right on it. Before we start this series, this was always my preferred way of playing. But I've sort of grown accustomed to the uh, to the hour cab. Oh, 
on controller anyway. On with the wheel, I always prefer the uh, in cab. This makes sense. Covered this many times on the channel on how I feel about that. So that's our first point. We have to try and reverse out safely somehow. <laughs> Diff off before we break it, and now I think we're going right, are we? Yep. Turn on all the aids. Low gear, diff lock. Watch the mud. Four minutes. So we're doing well. Unless I absolutely balls this up, you should get gold. Just want to use this space to try and turn around a little bit so we can get a better angle of going up there. There we are. Find our way down. So if you mark out the route, it's not that difficult. And to be fair, I have done this a few times. I should better remember it. But as we saw very early on, when I was just confidently driving around here trying to unlock stuff, Take a few lefts and rights in these woods, and I just, I get lost so quickly. In cab, out of cab, not always, but in cab, definitely, definitely get lost. So we're going to try. Yeah, there is a there is a track. Just on the map, it didn't quite look like there was. Clearly, there is. Unless we're on a different bit than I thought. I think we are. This is where the track looks like there is, but there maybe isn't. Yeah. Seven minutes. Under seven. Look. Lovely job. Now, we could do that another five more times if we wanted and, and make ourselves... Or another four more times and make ourselves with that. Six, twelve, another fifteen grand probably, a roundabout, but we won't. It's not necessary. But what we do need to do is try and make our way back to pretty much where we got this or that job from and attempt some of the uh, entertain them workers now I also have a uh, prolific history of at least one roll whilst trying to do this and up where these little jobbies are, these barrels that you got knocked over but there's not many anchor points to try and um, winch yourself back up again so we'll see how that goes 
don't think we have any anything really stored in the garage here if I want to pull myself back. So it'd be a case of bringing the blooming White West Star and choring it. We don't. Is that what we want? I don't think that's what we want. Oh, local entertainment. That is what we want. Yeah. Now, on a regular mode, I normally I normally pick off. Oh, show you. Where are we? Map's been spun. What am I doing? Where am I going? There we go. Yeah. I normally pick these four off and then just <laughs> yeet myself down there and grab that, but since we don't want to be breaking the, the truck, we won't. We'll have to go and get them. The, uh, the more mature way. No yeeting involved. I get some fuel as well. Handbrake on backwards. There we are. No doubt, as we log in, this will be used to go out and refuel trucks as well. Yeah, for this this job, it often seems like what you want is the big wheels and not good suspension and whatnot. But sometimes that's a bit of a curse. We've got to go down to the river and get the the old one to start with. Um, yeah, sometimes that can because we're quite bouncy. This gives us a big risk of bouncing on the rocks, or since we get that big lean with it, because the suspension is not very stiff just tip over as we try to climb rocks because we've rock climbing to do so we'll be doing a lot of um, low gear climbing slow and steady and all that as we, we get on the rocks this first one shouldn't be too much of a, an issue though none of them should be an issue but this is me we're talking about We just have to head over and push that over now. I was then wondering, do you think I can get through there and up that hill? Now, I know I can drive up that hill, but I'm not sure if this water is shallow enough. I can just take that shortcut. Hmm. Why are we being silly and risking stuff, hey? Why are we being silly? Going us too deep. I mean, we've turned the land over into a boat before, haven't we? So, why not again? Perfect.
Now, this is not a known route. I am just now winging it. <laughs> so we've got one up there. Let's go get that. Like I say, slow and steady. And these tyres don't necessarily do great on the hard surfaces. Surfaces? Surfaces, yeah. What was the old side come at it in the only way that's going to cause us an issue? There we go. First one. Oh, second one, sorry. That's normally my first one, that's why I said that. Two of five. Right. Now for the next one. It's in here and up there. It's a steep one. Now, these two will come in. We want to come in there. I will just stick a little usually flob there. Now, gently, 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 gently. Because there's a possibility that I will cry if we roll this over. <laughs> Definitely a possibility that I will cry. Which one first? I've rolled over getting both of these before, so... Don't know why. They're not that hard, but it's when I try and get out is when I tend to have issues. I'm not quite sure what fun or entertainment the workers are getting from this. Perhaps that is the entertainment is the same for the workers as it is for you guys, is that hopefully I roll and lose my shizzle. Have a little mini meltdown. So try to do it safe and steady. Safe and steady my friends. No rush. We're only going to have to go and try and pick up crates in the dark when we're finished. Yeah, it's when I have to try and come off this rock. It's quite often when I roll it. Hence why I've historically just yeet myself down the cliff to go and get the last one. Obviously we can't do that now. But we've got that. So we'll accept the uh, the dollarage and have the credits. Now we need to very carefully, I was going to say skillfully, but let's be honest, very carefully come off this rock.
Lovely job. Now, I'm going to go and take this. Where am I going to take this? I'm just going to park it up here. Because there's every chance I need a little bit of fuel. So I'm going to come down. Where I want to sort of pick some of these boxes up. I doubt we'll get all four of these crates picked up. In this episode, I sure what the time was. Well, we could do. We could do. It's a shame we can't just sort of winch onto these crates and, <laughs> and pull them. That'd be easier. Oh, I wonder if I could smack them into a. Can I push them into a better location? Since I'm here, can I push that crate to somewhere better to pick it up from? Because the issue is with this one is that when you get your truck up here, it likes to tip and roll. Oh, I can push it. Oh, a little bit. I push it a little bit. Let me push it more. Oh. A little bit more. Yeah, this crate's a nuisance because this surface here is ever so uneven. Might as well just be able to grab that from the side now, won't I? Well, I could even venture in and go and move the other t the other two. Make them a little bit easier. Why not? Oh, it does want to move now. Now that I've flipped it. So like, no, mate, no. You flipped us. Anyway, yeah, that one's that one's a pain in the bum, so that one's moved. That'll be much easier to get now. <laughs> oh dear. On the fly. Yeah, there was other two a bit of a pain in the backside as well. But that one that one I always tend to roll with more than the others, so Let's go and jump to the White Western Star. Oh, we're not. Oh, I thought we'd filled up with fuel. We weren't. We were going to fill it up once we got here. There we go. I remember now. So if we refuel and we want to pull it from the fuel tank, yes please. 825, that's not a lot. Yeah, I'm not too confident about doing this in the dark. Cannot lie. This is definitely one where I would uh, flick through to daylight. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Also like to try and go up the hill in reverse if I can. Am I stuck on a tree? Yeah.
Right, we've got plenty of room to move the boom around. I've unplugged my wheel and everything as well, so hopefully we'll have no conflictions of anything. Just for a while, that's, that's caused us some, some issues. Going backwards, we couldn't see the uh, the nasty angle, at the undulation of uh, that right there. But now, now with the light on it, we can see it, and I just become a little bit more anxious with it. Sometimes it's just better not to know. Yeah, normally, I, like I say, I would have liked to have brought a second trailer because then I'd, I'd have that down out of the woods on the track and we'd then move them into that trailer so that we could go and collect the others and put in the back do you reckon that'll pack for me on there? I doubt it oh that will, that will because we've got another one free okay And that's why I like to go up there in reverse, because it's much easier coming down that way. Less risk of roll. I've done it enough times to uh, figure that out. So we want to go and drop these off, and then go pick the other two up. We might have this done. That means log in next time. Once we've, you know, sorted the crane out. We're quick enough we might be able to get back and put the crane on as well less than 40 litres of fuel as well so that's quite nice I have seen someone do this with a single trailer like this They've, and, and drop these two off they go up, load them two in the back and then just double stack the uh, unpacked ones <laughs> then drive to the point knock them off so you don't lose them as you deliver and then uh, repack again oh. again I, I'm not that lucky with stuff and uh, that would all fall off and I'd fall over <laughs> know your limitations <laughs> this has been a very slow process of learning my limitations it's just uh, annoying that the limitations are different from when I'm recording to when I'm not. That they're different from hard mode to regular or normal mode. Easy mode. Replay. Load to money mode. A 
That's it, pop the wheel. Not doing nothing of any strenuous, so, uh, or any strain. Strenosity. Not doing anything as a chore. So naturally, we'll drive over some stones and smash up the suspension and pop a tyre. First two. Nice, quick, go get the others. Come on. If we can knock off all three of these jobs in this one episode, that'll be awesome. And then I think it is everything but the logs. I don't think we had anything left over in the dam. I think we've done all three deliveries in the dam, I think. I'm sure we have. I'll ch when we go back on clearing up, we'll, we'll know we'll say 100% or not, and then we'll have to find it. We delivered from the warehouse down to the swamp. We delivered from the other warehouse up to the house that's being built in the woods. This, um, at the top of that horrible stony road. We've done that. So we think we've got it all. We're going to go this way around. Just for a change. And I'm pretty certain we delivered from the service point to the farm when they wanted... No, not service point. Was service point to the farm or service point to the drilling station when they wanted their extras? whatever that was they wanted. Deceptively steep that, by the way. So always always hang a right on that. Perhaps if we keep the land over in close proximity, perhaps we will run the uh, meteorological whatnot before we leave. If I have to move the land over away, then we won't bother. It's a lot of driving about, that's the thing. And <laughs> fuel has become the thing. The thing that I actually thought I really wouldn't worry about. I really didn't think I was going to give two hoots about fuel. Having watched a multitude of people do uh, different parts of their hard mode and often talking about their fuel and, you know, the legend that is Wessel on Wheels, go check him out. Um, managing his fuel so well that he had a, an abundance of it left over while I was watching his series. And still am watching his series, but he's got so much fuel. I thought, why? Why? I don't need to worry about fuel. I'm just going <laughs> to do it my way. Yeah, don't do it your way. Don't do it my way, people. Do it other people's way. But if you come up here with a vehicle, and you've not got nothing going on, definitely smack this down, okay? <laughs> because that is a right pain in the backside, getting up on that hill and positioning yourself and what have you. Such a high risk uh, roll position up there. Trust me. I've rolled doing that more than I've rolled doing anything I can think of, I think. Last two. Ooh. There's a felon tree in the way. And a Land Rover. He parked that there. What an arse. <laughs> See, them big old boulders, they don't affect our suspension. They don't hurt our tyres. Tiny little rock. A slither of a stone. And I'll get a puncture. Two minutes. Two minutes. 
if my uh, if my timer and anything go by. Why, why these got missed? Appling. Because as you see, they're not, they're not that hard. I make out that they're hard. I know I do. Oversell it. Build up the excitement, the anticipation. But sometimes the simplest things I struggle with. Because I'm a simpleton. <laughs> uh, there, there we go. Job well done. That's another 3,200 and 280 points. How are we for levels? We're not, we're not there yet. Next, first... So the first, yeah, the first log delivery will, uh, will have us leveled up. Level 19. Oh, wrong one. So where are we at? 7, 18. Uh, yeah, I think actually, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. That's where we'll call it. I said I'd like to start around about 7 instead of 8, didn't I? So we'll do that. We'll do this from 7. Perhaps we'll try and get the log and go on from 7 till 7. Uh, just gives me that little bit more daylight at the start of the episode. Which sort of makes more sense to me to have you know a longer run in the in the daylight, and then all the dark, and then a little bit of morning to finish us off. But hopefully you've enjoyed that one. Three jobs knocked off, no rolling, no drama, no BS. Yeah, hopefully you did. If you did, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. We should be logging next time out. It's going to be fun. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.